Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome back to the Hot Wheels Ramen Fan. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a new subscriber, welcome. If you have not already done so, please go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss when I upload new videos. For those of you that are new here, my channel is about cerebral palsy because I myself have cerebral palsy. And I want to help those who have disabilities understand just because you have a disability doesn't mean you're alone because I myself have a cerebral palsy and I want to help those who have disabilities understand just because you have a disability doesn't mean you don't have to live this disease alone. Now, I can't walk, so, but I can help you. In a way, to understand just because you have a disability doesn't mean you have to or can't live this disability alone because we're all family in a way just because we can't walk. Now, what cerebral palsy is, is just a muscle disease that causes you not to be able to walk. Just because you can't walk doesn't mean you have, doesn't mean you don't have a voice. Start using that voice and let, let people know what you need or what you want to do in life and I guarantee you if you start using that voice of yours you're going to get a, a lot further than what you already are in life I use it in a in a form to talk to you guys. To let you guys know how I feel about it every single day. I love using my voice because my voice is my platform. To let you know how I feel about it or or um I choose to talk about it. And like I said guys before I used to get mad about it instead instead of me getting mad about it because I can't change it. I use it for other people to understand what cerebral palsy is and all cerebral palsy is is a muscle disease you can't catch it from someone you can have it for the rest of your life if you have cerebral palsy or any muscular disease you're gonna have to use to let people know how you feel or what you want. So yeah, that's what cerebral palsy is. Basically, a muscle disease that they can't get rid of. Now, like I just said, guys, you cannot catch or palsy from somebody. Now my muscle disease affects my legs. It affects my arm. It affects my right arm. 
it doesn't affect my left arm or my yeah my left arm it just affects my right arm and I'll show you here it affects my left arm I can't or no I'm sorry it affects my right arm I can't bend my hand the way that I need to to grip on to things and I don't like it but I keep trying every single day to find a way to grab things with this arm so what I do is I put it I use my left arm to pick it up and then I put it in my right arm and usually I can get it to close the way that I need to close and then when I'm done with it I just take it back out of my left arm and um, give it give my hand um, give my hand time to rest and then I sat it, and then I sit it back down. I don't do it as often as I should. That's why that muscle's tight, tight in my right arm. I need to do some exercises with my right arm. Again, because I noticed a couple couple weeks ago that my arm was getting tighter and tighter, so I need to uh, do some stretches with my r right arm. So if you guys know any stretches I can do with my right arm, please let me know. Um. It also affects my legs, but for right now I don't have no exercise for my legs because I don't want my legs to get tight. Because the only exercise I can really do is with my legs and one of them which would be my which would be my right side because I can't use because my left side would be too tight and I just need for some exercises to do because my left side is fused so the right side of my legs now again the right side I can do but the left side I can't do because my knee is fused. So if you have any exercises that you can think could be done, please let me know. Leave them in the comments below.
and let me know what you think and as I always say you never say you can't always say you can and never give up and thank you for watching guys and I will see you tomorrow bye guys